Thank you for being with us on the Feast of the Queenship of Mary. Our top story tonight, the Democratic National Convention comes to a close this evening with an address from Vice President Kamala Harris. A preview of her speech shows people in the pro-life community have reason to worry. Her rivals also criticize her problems at the southern border. But Democrats maintain excitement as they enter the last night of the DNC. Get ready to watch Kamala Harris take the stage in Chicago. Her campaign says she'll talk about her vision for the future and abortion. A country where all of our freedoms are protected, a country where we protect the rights of women, including the right to make their own choices about their bodies. We heard a similar theme last night from Harris's running mate, Tim Walls. We also protected reproductive freedom because in Minnesota, we respect our neighbors and the personal choices they make. Wiles' family became emotional as the Minnesota governor delivered his keynote speech. It's the honor of my life to accept your nomination for vice president of the United States. But pro-life groups push back against those who want to expand abortion. Students for Life writes, women and families deserve to know the full truth about what is at stake in 2024. Harris also gets pushed back over the war in the Middle East. We need a policy change that saves lives and ends the occupation of Palestinians. The fate of the hostages in Gaza drew chants last night from the DNC crowd. And today, former President Donald Trump returns to Arizona, blasting Kamala Harris for her immigration policies. She will never build the wall. She doesn't want to build the wall. She's only saying if she if she changes her mind, it's only because she wants to get elected, because who wouldn't want to have a strong border? His Republican running mate, J.D. Vance, also hit the campaign trail, speaking in Georgia. We have got a screwed up vice president calling the shots, and I think it's time to fire Kamala Harris, not to give her a promotion. Still, former President Bill Clinton praises Harris as being for the people while ripping Trump as being selfish. He's about me, myself and I.